Welcome all you flat earthers. I've just created a flat earth replicate. I've um, I've created stars. Stars within our dome. I'm looking down from above and I can see <laughs> see stars floating around in the middle of nowhere. <coughs> I've got a fish bowl. I've sprayed the back of it, and um, due to the uh, the curving of this, say the southern field, we get the parabolic effect, which projects the images out out into La La Land, out into the middle here. Holographic projections. So you can you can imagine this is the the northern the northern part of our dome. In the back, the southern, the southern part, and we're we're down here in the middle. So out here would be the central vortex of the donut. So you imagine oh, this as being a massive donut. So this this part will go all the way around in the solid part of the donut, and but in the centre will be the magnetic vortex that turns the magnetic field across and around the Earth. So I can't I can't make these move because I don't have this other part of the model. But here we have the projections. So what you can see is how the northern field, the northern rotation, um, flips the image on the southern field upside down. So we have the light up here and the images down the bottom. So if I move these lights down, those back images on the southern field would come up. This is what happens when you've got two symmetrical arcs facing each other. So, that's the guts of it. So, it's basically all mirrored. I thought I would need moisture. Because our atmosphere above us is full of moisture. I mean, this is well, we're actually, well, here I am. So all the all the air has got moisture in it. So I'm basically, I am replicating the whole thing, aren't I? So I'm getting, I'm looking down. It's really, really cool because I can see them just sitting there in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Blowing a lid on the spinning ball again, just as I'd shown in all my previous videos how this would work. I just happened to come across this from a. Three dollars fifty at a second hand shop. It was, a, it was a, an aquarium. I didn't realise it had a hole in it though until I got it home. But that doesn't matter because I didn't buy it for a flipping aquarium. <laughs> it's the hole. So this is this is it, folks. These the stars. So imagine these are the stars out in the northern vortex, but it would be turning twenty four seven. Sun's at the centre, doing a little rotation. Because the sun does a little, you know, the, the sun does a little rotation. So does sigma octantus, and so does Polaris, because they are both nighttime images of the sun. The sun does that small rotation because it's going around the black hole. So it's not quite at the centre, but it's near enough, and that's what reflects all the stars into the sky at night. It's the back side of the sun. The back side of the sun. There is a backside because it's tucked into the Milky Way. It's not in the spinning ball theory book, is it? No. Christ born in a manger. Christ is a son born in the manger, stuffed in the straw, the hay, the manger. The Milky Way is the manger, a long trough, call it what you will. It's all been left for us, it's all written. So you've got the northern lights here, up top. Flipped images on the southern field. So if we took, if we, if someone took photos at the same time each night, someone say 40 degrees north, um, say facing north, but maybe you have to try facing south too because there is a mirror reflection going on here. So, but if we had someone at 40 degrees south, facing south, taking photos on the same longitude at the same time 
if someone was taking photos 40 degrees north, you'd find it would be the same image. The same image only flipped upside down. It's like quite a few photographs, but at the same time, on the, within the same longitude, equal declination. And that's where you'll find. You'll find uh, one image is just flipped up upside down from the other, north to the south. What else can I say? Oh, well, I'll demonstrate. You see my hand here. Look. You can never get to stars. They're not billions of miles away. They're only just above us in the firmament. Science has to tell you they're billions and millions of miles away because they're all seen in many places. I mean, they're in many places, but only seen in one. They're only seen in your one horizon. Everyone has their own arc, arch of horizon. How far is your horizon? 5K. Rise up, your horizon expands. Rise up, Daniel, you will see further. That isn't written for dummies who didn't know you. if you went up a mountain you see further. <laughs> but that's what spinning ballers would think. That's, they don't think. Now, they're all just up there in the ferment. You cannot get in an aeroplane and you'll never get to these. You just go through them. You fly through them. The stars, they're not that high. Pretty awesome. They always, I mean, how far you travel, they're always moving out ahead of you. Look at that. It's magic. Well, this is based on magic. You get a lot of this in magic shows. They sort of use systems like this. The black background to fool you. Creating this holographic images or reflections, projections. Can I see it like that? Gone. No black background. See, this is how a TV works. Inside the tube of the old TVs, they're black, all black like this. So if you cut the front face off, you could do the same thing. Not sure how you cut that glass though. <laughs> this is easier. See, I could create the whole model if I had funding. That is, cost a bit of money. Um, basically, you're building a um, a massive donut uh, out of you know perspex or <coughs> you know this polycarbonate with the uh, central with the donut the central the central hole in the middle will have a turning vortex you know trumpet shape that would have the lights around it so you put the lights around that and just turn that in the center of this donut you sp have all the back of it all sprayed black and you create the whole well not the whole system because we haven't got the magnetic fields flowing with the stars all uh, now you get the same sort of thing. You don't need the magnetic field. The magnetic field is flowing all the time, but that's not supporting or driving the star's motion. The star motion is just a central vortex is continuously turning. Uh, yeah, so what, what we find from the central vortex, because this is turning all the time, and it's in the center, you'll get a, an image all the way around the donor. So it, wherever you are at night, you will always get your image <coughs> if you're at south facing south. No matter what longitude you're on, as long as it's night time, you'll get your direct rotation because you're between south and centre north because it's all reflected from dead centre of the Arctic. That's where the vortex is. An unseen vortex to man. God, man will not comprehend this godly place for it is not earthly. We cannot see creation. There's only one black hole that's right back in the center of there. That will never affect us. There's no, there's no other black holes out there. 
you can imagine that there might be because um, you know the realm we live in is all magnetic so you break a magnet down what do you get another smaller magnet break it down again another smaller magnet maybe it works like that out there in the in, the, in this projected space um, <clears throat> But uh, there's nothing solid above us. It's called heaven. It's non-physical. The physical world is down here on earth. You read, uh, it's all written. All this is written. All religions, uh, cultures, myths, uh, the Hermeticas. The Hermetica tells us, basically, earth is at rest. The same, the same as the human brain. They say, they say earth's a sphere like a head and turns like a head meaning the way your brain functions exactly the same our two spheres our two hemispheres of the brain we have a pineal gland in the center on the earth we have the two hemispheres where do we see the sun and the planets in the center in the ecliptic in the above the tropical zone on earth there's a celestial tropical zone between the northern and southern turning magnetic fields right to the center of that gap there's a gap and that gap represents the tropical zone down here on earth you'll get Orion's belt passing right through that center well that gap is the um, is the ecliptic right and the moon will wander from one side all the way to the other as it turns around the earth so it's winding up as it goes around and then comes back down the further out south to the Tropic of uh, Capricorn, it's always full moon. And it's always new moon when it goes back in towards Cancer because it's going into the sun. It goes into the sun. And it, as it winds out and down, the moon that is, it's passing over the planets. The planets all have their, their own tracks. Evenly divided, not evenly, but they're divided, separated, the nice straight straight tracks if you can imagine it like going around a cone but they're all on one level track and the moon passes across them like strumming an instrument she plays the tunes because everything is based on frequency our whole existence is based on frequencies that we don't even hear now i wandered off the hermetica what was i going to say the hermetica it says yeah state of rest so earth it says earth is from the whole in those exact words from the hole because in the center of the black hole it's at rest nothing happens inside the black hole it's the eye of the storm all the actions on the horizon that's where the sun is created the two forces coming together with, with the two forces and all the action and that movement creates life life on earth but the, but the earth itself dirt rock is all stationary earth is stationary because it's from the plane of inertia which is the center of the black hole. Everything is created from the black hole. Our whole realm is a projection. This is this even telling us this. I was watching one of them on YouTube the other night, the other day, and uh, one person in the audience mentioned something about the elliptic, and he quickly jumped down, and we quickly spoke up and said, no, no, because they could be round, knowing, you know, they're not, they're not elliptical tracks the planets are taking. It's a round track. It only appears elliptical because of the elliptic egg shape the sun is on the horizon of the black hole. The black hole is like a ring magnet, right? Imagine it. But you put a yoke off to one, one end, one side. It creates the head. That gives it an egg shape. Elliptical shape. And that's turning 24-7. Does a 360 degree rotation because well, that's turning and we relate the planets to the sun it makes scientists think what they do think that the celestial bodies the planets are doing an elliptic rotation and they're not it's because the, they're relating it to the elliptic shape of the sun and black hole so it's the guts of it what else can I say? Realize the sun 
It's it's it has two sides. Everything out in our existence has a pair. The Hermeticus tell us this. Everything is paired. Male, female, black, white, up, down, in, out. Magnetism, electricity, day, night. You name it. Where was I going with that? Not sure. But here we go. There's, there's all the celestial bodies. Nothing's on the black, nothing's on the back wall. It's all floating out here. It's all floating. Ah, the sun being tucked on the Milky Way. That's right. And it turns in the back side at night. It turns into the Milky Way. We see the Milky Way pop up. And you have to realize the Milky Way sits vertical in here. But because of all these parabolic effects, the concave surfaces, it gives us a curving appearance in our night sky. But there's a mirror image from the south to the north, isn't there? People want to know why the moon looks upside down, because there's the parabolic mirror reflection. See, the center north vortex is, is shaped like this, a, a trumpet. But this, this won't work if I set that down in there. Um, because we don't, have the, we don't have the donut, the donut effect. Where this, where this, the two symmetrical arcs, north and south, go all the way around in a donut shape with, the, with this vortex would sit in the center, the gap, the hole in the middle of the donut, and turn. And if that turned, you're going to get all your, you'll get your rotations, everything is exposed. So, if someone was willing to help fund a, a project, I could probably have the whole thing made up. But, uh, my channels don't go anywhere on YouTube. It's like YouTube does something with them. They just don't go anywhere. Like a year-long videos looks like no one even looks at them. Now and then you get someone look at it, but uh, I don't know what they do with them. Two years and there's only a thousand subscribers there, so I think well, if, if it's not getting out there, there's no point in getting too involved with this um, YouTube stuff too heavily um, well not, not putting myself in too much debt anyway there you have it everyone lights up here reflected back on the bottom lights down here reflected up at the top at the back stars. Where's the stars? Oh yeah. I'm flying to the moon. Oh, oh, can't find the moon. Uh oh. That's all NASA has to do. Set up a rocket and fly straight towards a full moon one night. <laughs> with, a, with film cameras rolling. You'll see it disappear. They'll never, they'll never get to it. We get to a certain point where we probably end up hitting the flipping firmament and they'll crash and burn. It'll be a great sight. But uh, no one ever goes up in those rockets. Yeah, and now you got those branks and all those dudes flying up to 50,000 feet saying they've gone into space. <laughs> well, whoop de doo da. There's no vacuum up there. We can't get into any vacuum because you can't get into the black hole. Only the black hole would have something of a vacuum. Like I say, you can't get to the black hole. You can't get out. If, if we, if this Earth, stationary Earth, inertia was attached to the black hole, you could get out there. We'd all get sucked into it, wouldn't we? Um, and again, maybe not, because on the horizon of the black hole, there's a force. You cannot, you cannot just go in, into the black hole from the side. That's why the darkness 
um, out of darkness comes light, but darkness comprehends it not, which means the sun's created, but the black hole can't suck the sun in, the light in, because there's this outward centrifugal force. But if you come up and go inside, up top, higher, you get into the uh, wormhole, the Milky Way vortex, and you get pulled straight down through the hole. That's how the system works. So, you know, there's just no way. The firmament's a firmament. It's like a force field. Gaseous pressure layers. You cannot get out. I think I've spilt the beans enough there. If, you, uh, if you're first time on my channel, go check out some of the other videos. I've taken a few down now, but if there's less than 10 likes, I'll just take them down. I'm not going anywhere. But, um, you know, you need to see a lot of my videos to get the full picture of how the flat earth works. I just, you can't spill it all in one, one 27 minute video. So, most of the video, you know, you learn something from each video. Even if the other 20 minutes is boring. <laughs> no, they're not boring. Pretty mind-blowing if you ask me. There you have it. Catch you on the next video then.